5 Signs That You Are Not Someone's First Choice But Second You are not their priority if these things are happening. If it's not you, there are numerous individuals who engage in a push-and-pull dynamic within a relationship, often keeping it on the back burner by intermittently offering incentives but inconsistently following through, thus keeping the other person dangling. But how can you ascertain whether you are genuinely the second choice or if their busyness with work truly consumes all their time? Keep an eye out for these seven signs or behaviors. 1. No pre-planning. Does your partner consistently avoid committing to pre-planned dates or trips? Do they frequently make last-minute arrangements with you? If these patterns persist, it's likely that you're not their priority. They might only turn to you when their other plans fall through. While occasional occurrences may be acceptable, if this becomes a recurring trend, it's cause for concern. 2. The texting habit. When you're not considered a priority, you receive minimal attention, perhaps a few texts to maintain your interest. While you notice their social media activity, your messages go unanswered. They only remember you when they need something from you. This behavior shouldn't be condoned unless you're content with being someone's second option. 3. Them keeping their options open. If you're not someone's priority, they'll avoid mentioning you or make it evident that you're not part of their considerations. Even in your presence, they may discuss others, leaving your status ambiguous. 4. Too many cancellations. When you're not a priority, they frequently cancel plans with you, often at the last minute. Your time isn't valued. Their primary concern is your availability whenever they require your time, disregarding your own schedule and commitments. 5. Memory. When we're genuinely interested in someone, we tend to remember details about them, including what they share with us and even their clothing choices. However, when our interest is lacking, we may easily forget these details. Similarly, when you're a secondary option, your partner exhibits the same behavior. They seldom recall things you've shared with them, requiring repeated explanations, which can be unsettling. Signs he is being too dominant in the relationship. How you can identify if your man is excessively dominant. When your partner exhibits dominance and egoism, it becomes unmistakably apparent. Persistent arguments and power struggles often indicate an attempt to overpower you in the relationship. This dynamic can swiftly become suffocating, as being made to feel inferior by your partner becomes the norm. If your intuition suggests that your partner may be excessively dominant, the following signs of dominance will provide valuable insights. 1. He is being very jealous and possessive. If your partner exhibits extreme jealousy whenever you interact with others, it's cause for concern. Jealousy often breeds negative behaviors rooted in dominance and a sense of superiority. They may attempt to assert dominance and even request that you distance yourself from your friends for a period of time. 2. He doesn't understand space. If he consistently fails to grasp the concept of personal space within a relationship and repeatedly disregards your boundaries without remorse, it indicates dominant tendencies in his personality. His focus is primarily on his involvement in your activities rather than respecting your autonomy. 3. He expects you to be there always. A dominant man will expect you to be constantly available for him, regardless of your circumstances. The notion of refusing him doesn't even seem to enter the equation. If you dare to consider otherwise, you may not comprehend the extent of his potential anger. 4. He criticizes everyone around you. You'll observe that your partner is overly critical of your loved ones, constantly pinpointing their flaws. They'll exert control over your social interactions, dictating who you should or shouldn't spend time with. Gradually, you may find yourself becoming increasingly isolated from the important people in your life. 5. He blames you for everything. You'll notice your partner placing blame on you for even the smallest issues, regardless of whether it's actually their fault. This behavior serves as a means of exerting dominance over you. Nobody wants to endure unfounded blame and guilt, especially when they're not at fault. A dominant man will manipulate situations to make you feel guilty, even when you're not responsible. How to react when someone body shames you. Don't take nonsense. 
Comments about being too fat, too thin, too tall, or too short, as well as remarks about weight, body shape, and appearance, are unfortunately common in society. Some individuals may feel entitled to make such judgments under the guise of freedom of speech. However, it's crucial to assert that nobody has the right to subject you to such nonsense. In today's increasingly negative world, people may try to bring you down. If you don't already have a thick skin or find it challenging to cope, instead of feeling hurt and upset, consider the following responses to let others know you're unfazed. Below are some tips on how to react when faced with body shaming, whether it comes from strangers or even your own acquaintances. 1. When strangers comment. If individuals who are not close to you make comments about your body, start by being confident in your own skin. If ignoring them isn't your preferred approach, assertively respond with phrases like, I appreciate my body as it is, thank you, or simply state that it's none of their business. Alternatively, you can address the person directly, maintaining a composed tone, and express, I don't appreciate your remarks about my body part. It's my body, my choice. However, if the individual exhibits aggressive behavior, it's advisable to ignore them, as such individuals often thrive on drama, and your time is better spent elsewhere. 2. Body shaming at home. Many of us face criticism from family members at home, including parents, siblings, or other relatives who may feel it's acceptable to comment on our weight. To handle these situations, it's essential to cultivate self-love and resilience, refusing to let their remarks affect you. In response, maintain a composed demeanor and reply with a respectful statement like, I'm comfortable with myself as I am, thank you for your concern. If you believe the individual is open to learning, consider providing them with educational resources on body shaming. Many people are unaware of the harm their comments can cause until it's brought to their attention. Alternatively, assertively communicate that you do not appreciate negative comments and request that they refrain from making them in the future. 3. Body Shaming Online The online world can be an unforgiving place, filled with individuals who seem to thrive on spreading hatred and negativity. Engaging with such individuals can be detrimental to your well-being. It's crucial to resist the temptation to respond to them or stoop to their level by resorting to name-calling. In today's volatile climate, where tensions run high, it's best to avoid escalating conflicts. If you feel compelled to reply, consider using sarcasm directed at yourself, following the example of comedians like Barty Singh, who deftly diffuse body shaming with humor. Always remember that sometimes, ignorance truly is bliss, especially if it preserves your mental and emotional health. If you're striving to lose weight, do it for yourself, not to appease others. There's no need to justify your journey to anyone else. Focus on your well-being and goals, and let your actions speak for themselves. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.